He's been training for months. He's driven 1,800 kilometres. Now Ben's on the starting line. Everyone is told to put their hands on the head so they won't scratch their balls. And then they're off. Unfortunately, we didn't get to put a helmet cam on Ben. Much of Ben's training has been working hard on his excuses. For this event, he says he is still recovering from a wrist injury, which we suspect was from excessive self-pleasuring. And he's also got a bad head cold. So Ben is taking it very easy and only aiming to finish one lap and treat this event as his preparation for a serious go next year. Great work by Ben here. Enough momentum to roll over the rocks, standing to absorb the bumps, paddling with one leg when needed. Just like the pro riders. The bash plate technique for two big logs. By far the safest and most energy efficient way to get over for gumbies like us. No rushing in. Ben always takes time to pick his line. It's easy to underestimate how demanding this course is halfway through the prologue track and they'll be breathing hard and trying to avoid arm pump. Into it, baby. These rock sections are tough. Usually there's only one good line, so you either wait in the queue or risk crashing on the hard lines. It's really hard to get going again if both wheels have fallen into holes. Ben is good at this sort of thing, so it must be rough if he's having trouble occasionally to get the bike moving. Trying to rush stuff like this can easily mean a bent brake disc or broken chain guide and derailed chain. Then he takes advantage of another harder line here, which even the best riders found tricky at times, pivot turning over an off-camber log while in the rocks. The guys are coming to the end of the prologue section, just this final rocky bit, then it's into the natural terrain for around 15 kilometres. 